What's going on? Here we are today in my shop, my favorite place to be, of course. And it's a rainy day, and I thought, what a better time than to make a little video for you guys on how I repair my e-props. So, becoming a paramotor pilot, you will come into having some mistakes. So, I was taking my Skymax off my trailer, and when I was going to go take it off one of my straps, grabbed my paramotor, and the way I was pulling it off, it fell over. And as soon as I grabbed it, my prop just kissed the ground, and it was just enough to fracture it and for me to actually not be able to go and fly it. So today, I wanted to share with you guys how I repair my carbon fiber props. So all I need is three things here for this repair job. So it starts out with just one, having clamps, because we're gonna have to clamp down where some splits are, which I'll show you guys. We need JB Weld, which I'm a big fan of for this kind of stuff. It works perfectly, and you can sand it to counterbalance the weight out, which is very important. And then what we also have here is two different types of sandpaper, which I like to use the 60 grit to actually take away, say, the JB Weld after that's on. But what I really like is the 220 sand, uh, wet sanding. You know, you get it wet, and when you go to sand, it's very nice finish style you know and like i said i used a 60 to get down the rough you know the the access that does not need to be there and this is what i use for the final touches and you know of course you know after all said and done i'll hit it with a little clear coat that i actually like hand brush paint on so let's quit wasting time and let's jump right into this okay so first things first is i'm going to show you where the break is because it's only actually on one side of the e-prop and these e-props are a two piece they're not just a one piece that's why i actually always leave these um bolts in here for the prop you know also a great way to not lose these so set these over here so check it out so these are a two piece all right so like i said we're here to fix my cracks that I have on here and a split that's at the end of the e-prop wing. So like I said, all we need for this little project is JV Weld to put back what we take away and to help with that split. And for the JV Weld, obviously we need clamps to help hold in place for a couple of hours, you know, to let it cure right. And what we have here at the end is sandpaper we have 60 grit to take down the jb weld access and once we're about to the finish we use the 220 wet sand which is a very nice way to finish it off i just like using any style clear coat just so it has a finish on there so it's not bare after the sanding so now like i said previously it's only half side of the e-prop that's actually damaged so this side here is actually okay so we're gonna put this one to the side, and it's this side that actually took a little bit of a beating. And so when I look at it here on the face of the prop, this looks totally fine. There's nothing wrong with the face here. So, but when this fell off and it hit, it created a pressure crack right here on the back. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna sand this down until the crack's gone and fill in the gap with the JB Weld. And not only did I get this little pressure crack when it just kissed the ground, it's probably gonna be hard to tell, but right here on the edge of the wing, it's split. So what we're gonna do is try to get JB Weld in there and then clamp this part down. So let's, um, let's sand down this part right back here where this pressure crack is and see what we can do. And what I'm gonna actually use for that is the 60 grit but not go really hard and i want to do it by hand of course and what i do is i rip little pieces off like this i fold it up so like i said i have this pressure crack here i hope that you guys can actually see it so like i said this fell back and i guess from it being bolted on so let's see here what happens when we stand this crack away make sure the split's not all the way through you know So, let's check it out now. It's a lot harder to actually see where that split is. So, and I don't want to take too much off. 
we take too much off, we're gonna start really throwing balance off of all of the props. So, like I said, my object or my what I'm trying to do here is I'm just trying to take away what is needed. I don't want to take away any more than I need. Okay, so now you'll see that we basically got it down to where it's not visible anymore, right? So now, next step is, before we go mix it up with the glue, is like I said, D that splits, it's hard, it's hard to really tell, but it's split. So what we gotta do is see if we can't get this to shut properly again, which it looks like it will. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the JB Weld and we're gonna worry about this edge of the wing right now. We're gonna try to pry this open the best we can and get all that as best as we can in here. So all this requires is when it opens, comes with a cool little mixing stick here. And what's nice about this style of JB Weld, the reason why I buy this kind, is that it's super nice and easy to use and when you press it out, it equally comes out of here. All you gotta do is untwist the bottom, boom, ready to come out. All I do is I press out as much as I want on a little piece of cardboard that I had here in the shop. Boom, we're probably not gonna use any more than that. You'd be surprised how little you need. You put the cap right back on here, boom, perfect. Now I get to use that again for if we have another mistake down the road. All right, now all you do is you mix this up just like this. Nothing crazy. You actually mix it till it turns into a grayish color, to a darker color, I should say. But yeah, super nice, super easy. You got time to actually, uh, with this, to mix and then try to apply. So it's not like you have to rush this process. This is something that you get to take your time on, which I actually really do enjoy doing. So, like I said, we gotta really get this stuff in the crack here, which is gonna be a little tough, but a little flathead here. And all I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to pry this so it stays open. Okay, just like that. See, now, now you guys can see the break. You see how it's broken. My idea is to keep this pried open, get this JB Weld in there now. So let's see how this works. Let's see. Let's see, I can set this up right there on the clamps. What I'm trying to do now is get the rest of this in there. Okay, there we go. Hard part is keeping this in there right now. Okay, there we go. It's gonna try to clamp here. So let's do one like this. Okay. What I'm gonna do now is take these off. I go like this. Hardest part is actually clamping this really nicely. So let's see here. All right. So now you guys can see here, we got all these clamps on here. Very nice, it's holding up that glue now. We like that. Cool with that. Okay, so let's slide you over. Okay, bear with me here in my shop. It's a rainy day and we have the Model A out there in the rain. So now what we gotta do is we gotta get this a little mixed up again. I just like to hit it again while it's getting there. And now all I'm gonna do is get this on, like this, right where that crack was. Boom, that's where the crack was. And now all I'm gonna do with this is we're gonna get this on here, right only where basically that crack was, which is right up to there. That's it. And then now we're just gonna smooth it out. And then I'm gonna sand a lot of this away, of course, but We'll sand it down until where it's balanced, so. All right, and that's it. So now, we just wait for this to dry. Yeah, you know, you basically just want it to be a little over, and then you just, 
sand away a very little bit. You know, you don't want to take a lot away because then you're defeating the purpose of what we just did here. So the idea is to let this all set and then we'll sand it down, get it all prepped and ready, and then we'll be ready to have it again as a spare prop for the Vitarazzi Moster 185, which I'm pretty excited about. So, well, all right, everyone. I hope that you guys did enjoy how I actually fix my e-prop. And if you guys stay tuned, I'll post the other video on one I'm sanding this up and getting it prepped and ready for uh, flight again, which I'm pretty excited about. And yeah, if you guys just saw my last video, you guys know that I just got another motor for the SkyMax Expedition. Make sure you guys leave some comments below on what you think, what motor it is that I just got for that. And like I said, I did not give up on the EOS 100 booster. I'm in works with the company trying to get the motor back and running. So make sure you guys stay tuned. We've got a lot of cool things going on. I really do appreciate everyone that is here watching. It means a lot to me. I just love making these videos and I love sharing it. So. Make sure you guys definitely drop some comments, smash that like button, make sure you subscribe, and yeah, until the next one, everybody, hopefully we're up in the air flying or we'll be working on another project. Until the next one, everyone, peace out.